Now, the Ukrainian president says he's had his first phone call with the Chinese leader since the start of the war. Vladimir Zelensky described his conversation with Xi Jinping as long and meaningful. Xi met Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow last month. Beijing says it's maintaining neutrality in the conflict. Well, we'll get more from Charles Stratford in just a moment. From He's in the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. But first, let's go to Beijing and speak to Jessica Washington. She's there for us. Uh, Jessica, President Xi seems to be styling himself as quite the global peacemaker these days. Well, that's exactly right. And that context that you mentioned, that these are the first talks since the Russian invasion of Ukraine between the two leaders. And that context that President Xi has met his Russian counterparts several times, including in person in Moscow since the invasion. And we do know that President Zelensky has repeatedly requested a meeting or some kind of discourse with President Xi. It seems that only a few hours ago that goal was finally realized. So let's take a look at uh, some of what was discussed. According to a statement from the Chinese Foreign, Minister, Foreign Ministry, uh, the mutual respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity was something that both leaders agreed upon as being the political foundation of the relationship between the two countries. And uh, what President Xi stressed, according to this statement, is that China stands on the side of peace. According to this statement from the Foreign Ministry, all relevant parties must stay calm and exercise restraint. Now, if we take a look at this statement, which details what was discussed, what the words that aren't mentioned are as important as those that are mentioned. What we see is that the words war and even any mention of Russia have not been specifically mentioned. If we take a look at the outcomes from this, from this one-hour phone call, according to what officials have said, from the Ukrainian perspective, they have finally appointed an ambassador to China after the opposition had been vacant since February of 2021. And from China's perspective, they have appointed a, they will appoint a special representative of the Chinese government on Eurasian affairs who will be sent to Ukraine and other countries. It's not specified in that statement which countries that might include. Jessica Washington there with the latest for us from Beijing. Thank you so much, Jessica. Well, let's get the view from Kyiv now and speak to Charles Stratford. Charles, there's been a perception, particularly with the presidential visits and all, that Beijing has been perhaps a little more pro-Moscow, despite its insistence that it's neutral. Does this maybe mark a shift? I don't think that anybody can doubt the significance of this telephone conversation. It's a conversation that Zelensky has been asking for for a long time. But there is also, of course, a lot of doubt, certainly amongst the Ukrainians and many of their Western allies, as to whether China could ever be an honest arbiter in any kind of future peace negotiations because of China's strong relationship with Russia. Of course, we saw Xi in Moscow last month um, talking about his dear friendship with Vladimir Putin. And we've seen this 12-point so-called peace plan that the Chinese put together. And they talk about things like sovereignty in that plan. Now, Zelensky, um, when that was released on February the 24th, just basically denounced it as not being a peace plan at all. And very interestingly, in the last few minutes, on his Telegram channel, he has uh, released a statement um, and he talks basically, let me just pull it up for you here, he says that um, there will be no peace at the expense of, or, of territorial compromise. Um, and that is in direct relation, serious, we, we understand, to this telephone conversation. So he says there's been no peace at the expense of territorial compromise. He said that no one wants peace more than the Ukrainian people. We are on our land and we are fighting for our future. Um, so there is an indication of, you know, culling any kind of optimism that mm. despite this being of huge significance, we are a long way off this kind of uh, conversation, this kind of relationship, the beginnings of it, having any real impact on, uh, on a, fe a future peace. There is a, still a long way to go. Just to let you know, there has been some international reaction as well. There's been some reaction from the White House. Uh, the, the White House spokesperson, John Kirby, saying that um, it was good news, but um, there was still far too, it was still far too early to, to, to note whether this was um, anywhere near presenting the conditions for, for a, a peaceful solution to this war. Charles Stratford there in the Ukrainian capital for us. Thank you, Charles.